welcome back to my channel. Um, I literally just finished filming the outro for my last video, which if you haven't seen, it's all about the fading process of the overtone brown coloring conditioner that I used. Um, but basically, after letting it fade, doing a bleach bath, this is what I was left with. And as I mentioned in that video, I feel like my hair is still a little bit yellow. And I didn't bother toning it because I knew I wanted to add color on top. But what I was thinking is that maybe it would be a good idea to do a purpley color so that then once it fades, it is kind of like toning my hair. So a while back when I ordered my like regular overtone pastel pink coloring conditioner, um, it actually allowed me to choose like two like little sample colors, like just was like a free little gift with it. So I chose like one of their other pinks and I chose this purple one. Is that called purple? Yeah, extreme purple coloring conditioner. And it's tiny, but I knew that that was okay because I never do like dark or vibrant colors. I, if it's this dark, I always dilute it. So that's what I plan on doing with this. I want to try it out, see if it gives us like a nice light purpley like lavender shade. Um, so I guess we'll see. I was so, so tempted to go back to pink. I miss my pink hair so much, but one, not only did I want to try something different for you guys because I've done pink a million times, but like I said, this will hopefully get rid of the yellow in my hair, possibly. I don't know. But yeah, let's get started. So since I am going to be diluting this color because it is a very strong color, as the name suggests, extreme purple, I already filled up my bowl with a lot of conditioner and I'm only going to put a little drop of the purple and mix it and see how I feel. There's always that issue with colors like this that it's only going to tone my hair and not actually show up as like lavender or whatever. So um, yeah, got to make sure that it's dark enough to actually show up. Definitely a very intense color. Not something I would put on my hair like just straight out of the bottle. All right, so I think I'm just going to use this little brush and just take about that much and mix it in. I have quite a bit of conditioner. So I might have to add more purple than this. I just never know how much like dye to have for my coat, for my hair. Cause it is longer. I've been meaning to trim it cause I like when it's like right here. Um, but because I knew I would be doing like the bleach bath and everything, um, I was kind of just waiting for all that to happen so that then I could just like chop off all the dead ends. All right, this color is looking pretty, but definitely seems like it might be a little too light. So I think I'm gonna have to add in a bit more purple, maybe that much, kind of like a third of the first amount that I added. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more purple because even if it's a bit darker than I want, it'll fade quickly as I wash it. Um, but if I don't make it dark enough, then it's just not even gonna show up. So it'll be a waste of product and a waste of time. So getting, I don't know if you guys can see that, about that much again, so another third of that first amount. So yeah, I don't know. As usual, I never have actual measurements. I think we're at a good color. Like I think this will show up. I feel like it's looking lighter on camera than it does in person. Okay, my hair has been sectioned. I actually need to get some new gloves. I only have these. I used them last time I dyed my hair, but I didn't really like them. They're just like too thick and it's kind of hard, I guess, to like separate my hair and stuff, but it's all I have right now. Also, I mentioned in the other video, but I don't think I did in this one, I do have a little bit of banding from the last time I like did my roots because my, I just let my roots get too long. So this part didn't get as light as like this part, which I'll be fixing next time I do my roots, but hopefully this color is like enough to cover it. Oh, we shall see. So I'm just gonna go in straight with my hands. <laughs> and put it on here and let's see if it looks like it's gonna do anything Ooh, right now not looking <laughs> like it's doing anything let me see yeah i don't think that's doing anything i'm gonna have to add more purple it just still looks blonde adding that much so at this point i think i basically just have double of like that first um bit that i put in <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's mix that in. Yeah, I'm looking at the hair. It's literally just blonde. Maybe I would be toning it if I did that, but I don't want to just tone it because honestly, I don't like being blonde. I actually really dislike blonde hair on me. I only 
they bleached my hair so I can put colors. I don't know. It still seemed too light. All right. A little bit more. <laughs> I've honestly lost count of how many times I've grabbed some purple. Okay, I think this is good. It looks pretty dark to me. And I hope it's not this dark on my hair. I don't think it'll be. I'm gonna try to rub off some of this that I put in my hair. All right, let's try that again. Let's see if this shows up. <laughs> Guys, I'm still not seeing anything. What the heck? Oh, I guess my hair is just that yellow, huh? Hmm. I feel like I can see a little bit of the lavender up here where it's like really light. But the rest where it's like pretty yellow, I feel like it's not really doing much. All right, at this point, I guess I'm just gonna go for it, add a bunch more purple, make it a lot darker to see if I can actually get it to show up. It's a pretty big blob, but I think it's necessary. Wipe this again. Wow, that's actually super toned. Huh. Well, now I know if I need to tone my hair, I could just dilute some of this purple. Okay, hopefully this is the batch that actually <laughs> works and that I'll be putting all over my hair. It's a lot dark. Oh, it still looks light there. Maybe if I block the light over here. Can you guys see that? It's pretty dark. So let's go in with that. And honestly, at this point, I think even if it doesn't show up as much as I want it to, I'm just gonna do everything. Cause I'm just too scared it's gonna get too dark and then all of a sudden I have dark purple hair, which I don't want. It's gonna be a pain to fade. This looks like even if I don't get purple, I'll get pink and I'm okay with that. So let's get this going. I have an issue. <laughs> Actually, I have two issues. The first one being that I don't know if this is gonna do anything. I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I feel like it's just gonna wash right off. Maybe tone my hair a little bit, but not do much. My other problem <laughs> is that I've run out of dye. I thought I put so much, and yet I don't have enough. And Usually what I like to do is do like a little swatch on a paper towel. That way if I have to mix more then I could try to match it. I didn't do that this time because I didn't think I would need it. But I do. So I'm going to have to mix some more and hope that it's similar. Maybe I'll even make it a tiny bit darker and use that like up top to make sure that at least the top looks a little lavender. Not really sure. So yeah, let me go mix some of the color. I'll be right back. All right, I have the mixture. Is it the same as the last one? No idea. I guess we'll find out. But at this point, I think whatever ends up happening is still going to be better than the yellow blondes I had going on. So I'm okay with it. The beauty of, you know, temporary color is that, you know, you kind of just go with it because you know it's not going to be on your hair. For that long it's so easy to get it to fade out well at least the pastel shades are which is usually why i like to stick to pastel also because i just think it's prettier let's see is this similar it looks like it i don't know well i'm gonna finish up and then we'll see what happens all right well we put everything in I actually feel like the second batch I did might be a little lighter. It didn't look like it, but I feel like the blonde is showing through more. I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do, I have a little bit of leftover. I'm going to put a tiny bit more purple so I get like a slightly darker batch. And I'm going to at least put it like right here, like on my roots, just to make sure it covers like this little like yellow band here. 
and also it just like creates a nice gradient. Well, that's if we even get any color over here. <laughs> it might just go from like lavender to blonde. I don't know. Do like this. I don't even know if that's gonna work because there's already so much on here. This is what I usually do with my roots, but I feel like I went like a little overboard <laughs> with the amount that I put on my hair because I it just like, I don't know. I wasn't really seeing the purple, so I just kept like adding and adding. So I don't know if this is even gonna make it through to my hair, but might as well try it because I have leftovers. Sorry, this video is such a mess. I honestly didn't even plan on dyeing my hair today, um, but I just was not liking how the yellow was looking. So I kind of just impulsively decided to do this. What I liked about diluting the overtone color is that overtone is usually it's like very thick compared to like other, I guess, coloring conditioners that I've used. Um, so sometimes it could be a little hard to like actually spread it. But adding the conditioner makes it easier to spread, which I like. Oh, but it does, you know, drip a bit more because of that. All right, I think like up to here is good. So I'm gonna let this sit in my hair probably for like 30 minutes or so. And I will rinse it, I will dry it, probably style it a little bit, and then we'll see if it did anything. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. <sighs> well, didn't really turn out <laughs> how I wanted it to. As you can see, the color was not dark enough to actually make my hair lavender. It did tone it though. Look how pretty this ashy blonde is. However, because I went in with a darker purple on my roots, hey Oliver, now I have purple roots. So, not really sure what to do because now I either have to do a darker purple on everything or I can just maybe wash my hair a few times and hope that this fades so then I just have like everything this ashy blonde? I don't know. I haven't really decided what I want to do. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling this blonde color, but this is not cute. It looks like I used purple shampoo, but like I left it on for too long. So you know how then some parts of your hair get purple, but then it like tones the rest. Yeah, that's basically what my hair looks like now. Well, anyway, I guess I'm gonna give it a few days, think about what I want to do but I might be back soon with another video trying probably a completely different color. Well, if you enjoyed this video, uh, I guess give it a thumbs up, even though it was a fail. I mean, hey, it's a tip though. If you want to tone your hair, just put a little bit of purple dye if you have it with some conditioner and voila, you don't even need to buy a toner. <laughs> Although a toner, pretty sure will last longer. Actually, I'm not really sure. I've never done like a, Tests like to compare, but I would think a toner would last longer. I don't know. Either way, um, yeah, if you already have the purple dye and you want to tone your hair, then you can try that out. Also, the reason why I wanted to try like diluting the purple is because I do feel like that's a really good way um, to save some money because if you have a color that is way more um, vibrant or just darker than what you actually want, it's gonna last you a lot longer if you're always using that with conditioner. Like, I kid you not, I still have the same bottle of Virgin Pink from Arctic Fox that I used the first time I ever dyed my hair pink. Like, I still have it to this day and I still use it. Should probably check if there's like an expiration date or something. But basically, because I only put a little bit of it and then conditioner, then it just lasts me forever. Whereas like the overtone pastel pink, because I it's already pastel and I have to use everything in the container, I have I would have to buy that like every like six weeks. So yeah, so this is a more affordable way. But obviously, you have to put more purple in and like with your conditioner if your hair is as yellow as mine was. That's the thing. I think I um, underestimated just how yellow my hair was. So. Yeah, but anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, bye.